Good day, hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Fun Day Friday with myself, Coach Navar, and the Made For More team. Um, unfortunately, this is not a live video because, you know, load shedding. Um, so today I'm just going to talk to you and hopefully um, you're going to take this message and um, apply it into your life. So guys, this whole week we've been talking about goals, um, setting goals, planning goals, smart goals. And um, today we're going to talk to you about uh, goals in sport specifically. All right. So um, um, what are goals in sport? And uh, I know the obvious, the most obvious one is, is a goal that you score. Um, say, for instance, if you're playing soccer and, and your team gets the ball, your ball, the ball into the other team's net, that's a goal. If uh, you're playing hockey, same thing, get the ball into your opposition's net, and that's also a goal. And um, yeah, so basically, point scored rugby, it's called a try. Um, in netball, if you shoot for the hoop, that's also a basket. Um, so those are goals, the obvious goals in sport. But there's a whole aspect of goals in sports and i'm specifically talking to you about outcome goals so if we go more specific into the sport that you play um think about it and what is your goal for that sport for you in that sport so let's say you play cricket and um, your goal could possibly be to become opening batsman um, and right now maybe you're on the fourth or fifth in the log and your goal is to become opening batsman now what do you need to do to improve your game obviously um, maybe you need to become a, a more coordinated eye coordination watching the ball getting your eye into knock maybe it's um, your wrist strength to be able to hold and swing the bat so those are the kind of goals I want to talk to you about today in sport okay so we have our life goals um, which we've spoken to, to about quite a few times. Um, so yeah, so it's sports. So while I'm talking to you about these goals in sports, think about the, the sport that you play, the sport that you like, and the sport that you want to excel or um, achieve great things in. Sorry guys, I'm busy with the Made For More booklets. Um, yeah, so think about those kind of goals. And um, I'm going to just give you a couple of things that you can think about um, examples to improve your game or the kind or type of goals in the sport that you should be working towards okay so um, there's stuff goals like I'm gonna give you a couple of examples these are examples of goals that you could be working for first one is maybe increase your speed um, um, speed is always a good thing in sport I think um, most sports that is so that could be one thing a goal that you want to go towards could be increase your strength um, whether it's swimming and you need to increase your legs or, or um, it's your athletics and you want to increase your legs or it's powerlifting and you want to increase your arms or it's soccer and you want to be faster and um, you could increase your physique and um, just your overall fitness and how you look that's also a, a, a sporting or rather fitness goal um, develop hand-eye coordination guys um, become more explosive, become more sharp, become more aware, uh, be more agile. Maybe your goal is to learn the rules better than your opposition so you know how to work them to your advantage. That's always a good one. You know the rules. So yeah, guys, as you can see, there are a lot of things within your sport that you could work towards um, achieving, just like as in life, lifelong goals. And, um, and that's what I want you to consider today on this lovely uh, Friday is what kind of goals do you want to achieve in sport um <laughs> yes we all want to score a goal we all want to you know throw our hands up in the air and celebrate and have people clap for us because we scored that goal um so just but just think about your sporting journey um maybe you're you're now you're just starting to play sport in grade three and there's competition um perhaps you, you're in high school now and sports starting to be a bit more serious um, or maybe you're a semi-professional athlete and um, you want to take your, your sporting career to the next level. Um, you have to have sporting goals and, and, and write them all up, list them out. And the same like your lifelong goals, make them smart. 
you know, something that is, is, is specific and, and realistic and attainable, you know, and, 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 and giving on a timeline because most sports are only played for a season and a season is only that long. So um, you also have to achieve these goals in a specific timeline, whether you wanted to achieve these goals in this season, maybe this season you're focusing on getting knowing the rules, being a better overall player, and then uh, following season you're going to focus more on the, the strategic aspect of it. Um, so yeah, think about those things, guys, and write them out. Plan. You, you, you're not going to achieve goals if you don't plan for them, okay? And um, it's, a, it's a simple method. It's a simple method. We've talking to go look, go look on our, our previous videos on um, YouTube or and go look at goals, setting smart goals. That is a proven track record and a, and a, and a, a blueprint sort of up exactly how you can plan and, and work towards your goals. All right, guys. So go have a look at that on YouTube. Um, at Made for More page. It's called uh, Planning Goals or Planning Smart Goals, and um, hopefully you'll pick up some tips there as well. It's a, it's a lovely video. Great, great, great um, information, and you shouldn't go wrong. All right, guys. So um, that's it for me today. It's a lovely short Friday. Goals in sport. Um, I don't want to reiterate uh, a, a lot of what I said during uh, planning goals for for life. Um, it's there. Go go back, look at the video, and and then come back and look at this one again. And um, yeah, just combine the two. The information is basically the same. You have your lifelong goals and then your goals in sport. Um, still using the same formation, the formula um, on both setting your goals. So c combine that, guys, and you can do use that formation for anything. Um, goals, life, um, personal, physical, um, mental, you know, so use it guys, try it out, I think you won't lose anything from trying. Okay guys, and uh, that's it for me, Coach Navar, have a lovely, lovely Friday, go plan those goals um, and smash them out one by one guys, remember it all, it's a, a day, take it day by day, take it step by step, objective after objective and eventually you'll, you'll you'll get to the end and you'll turn and look back at all the goals that you achieved and hopefully it'll you would have landed up in the place that you had said all right so take that information have a lovely weekend be blessed um see you soon for exercise therapy on monday don't forget to follow us on instagram youtube as well as facebook can't wait to see you soon for our live sessions guys um Zoom sessions coming up soon. Keep keep watch on our pages too for more information on that. And um, let's let's walk this journey in sport together. Have a lovely weekend. Love. Bye.